children of all ages. Welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Playoff Preview. The first ever playoff in NASCAR history. Um, last night at Richmond, we crowned a regular season champion of Martin Truex Jr. in the 78 Bunch. So this is going to be all about the playoffs. I want to run down the 16 people in it. And I did some... Uh, Stats look up last night, some of the things during the race. And I'm going to break down who I think will be eliminated when, who my final four will be in the playoffs. But each round, I will do a preview of that round. So it's going to run down the 16 people that currently that's in the playoffs. Martin Truex Jr., 2,053 points, 53 bonus points, uh, four wins, 10 top fives, 17 top tens, 18 stage wins. Number two, Kyle Larson, 2,033 points. He's got 33 bonus points with four wins, 11 top fives, 15 top tens, three stage victories. Next, we have Kyle Busch, 2,029 points, 29 bonus points, two wins, 10 top fives, 16 top tens, and 11 stage wins. Number four, Brad Keselowski, 2,019 points, two wins, 11 top fives, 14 top tens, four stage wins. Number five, Jimmy Johnson, 2,017 points, three wins, three top fives, eight top tens, and one stage victory. Next, Kevin Harvick, 2,015 points, one win, eight top fives, 16 top tens, three stage victories. Number seven, Denny Hamlin, 2,013 points, two wins, one incumbent. Unfortunately, he was able to get in the playoffs due to the other victory. Um, 11 top fives, 15 top tens, two stage wins. Next, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., <clears throat> 2010 points, two wins, four top fives, seven top tens, no stage wins. Ryan Blaney, 2008 points, one win, three top fives, nine top tens, and three stage wins. Number 10, Chase Elliott, 2006 points, zero victories, six top fives, 14 top tens, and two stage wins. Number 11, Ryan Newman, 2005 points, one win, six top fives, 11 top tens, no stage victories. Kurt Busch, one win, 2005 points, five top fives, 13 top tens, and zero stage wins. Casey Kane, 2005 points, one win, three top fives, four top tens, no stage wins. Austin Dillon, 2005 points, one win, three top fives, four top tens, zero stage wins. Matt Kinsand, 2,005 points, 0 wins, 7 top fives, 12 top tens, 3 stage wins. Jamie McMurray, 2,005 points, 0 wins, 2 top ten, two top fives, 13 top tens, and 0 stage wins. Okay, if you look back on our report show, I did a NASCAR chase, or NASCAR playoff preview. Um, I was able to pick 12 of the 16 cha uh, playoff drivers. The four that I did not pick was Ricky Stenhouse, Ryan Blaney, Casey Kane, and Jamie Glenbury. The four that I had in was uh, Clint Boyer, Dale Earnhardt Jr., um, Daniel Suarez, who was the other one? I wrote down the 20 and the 20 minute. I'd have to look and see, but those are at least three of the ones I didn't pick when I picked. So, going forward, we have basically knockout playoffs. If you're new to NASCAR, we have three races, we eliminate four drivers. Three races, we eliminate four. Three races, eliminate four. Final four goes to Homestead in November. As long as Hurricane Irma didn't wipe out Homestead, Miami dates, Miami Speedway. So, the first round elimination, I believe who will be eliminated for the first three races will be Ryan Blaney, Casey Kane, Ricky Stenhouse, Austin Dillon. My second round eliminations are Chase Elliott, Brian Newman, Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth. Third round eliminations, Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin, Jamie McMurray, and Kevin Harvick. The four I have going to Homestead in November are Martin Truex, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, and Brad Keselowski. 
Now all the bonus points carry over by round. So that's going to help our Truex. That's 53 bonus points that's going to carry him throughout the playoffs. It almost guarantees him a spot at Miami. Kyle Larson, 33 bonus points. That's equivalent to 33 spots on the grid. Truex, 53 spots on the grid. That's almost... There's no way he doesn't make it. He, he can miss a race and probably still make the couldn't make the round. So that's just incredible what he's done with the regular season. Um, my champion for 2017, I am going to go with a video I did earlier in the year uh, about Kyle Busch. Um, Rowdy, Rowdy something is the name of it. You have to look back on Robert Sports Show and the video history and see it. I said in that video that the, the, few, the fewer races Kyle runs in a year, the better he does. Note his 2015 championship, he missed 11 cup races and all those Xfinity and truck races. And then this year NASCAR has limited how many Xfinity races, truck races he can race in. He's done with his Xfinity series for the year. I think he may have a couple truck races left. Next year they limited even more, 5-5. Five and five. Kyle will be... I've gone on here before and said not a Kyle Busch fan, but I'm starting to, start to kind of get to see a different side of Kyle in some interviews and stuff and make sure you check out that uh, Rowdy Bush video I did. So that's the first round predictions. We'll see what, how close I get to this. I mean, I was 75% on picking the playoffs, so we'll see. So that will wrap up the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoff preview. Like I said, each round I'll have a preview of that round and who I think will be eliminated. And then also obviously having the preview of each race, along with the NFL weekly previews, NCAA weekly preview. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader of sports talent content.